Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on creating an AWS Cloud9 development environment. Cloud9 is a powerful, cloud-based integrated development environment that allows you to write, run, and debug code directly from your web browser. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up a new Cloud9 environment and provide a tour of the key features within the IDE. Cloud9 is part of the broader AWS ecosystem, so it integrates seamlessly with other AWS services like EC2, S3, and Lambda. This makes it an ideal choice for developers who are building applications on the AWS platform. Some of the key benefits of using Cloud9 include the ability to access your development environment from anywhere, the convenience of a fully managed infrastructure, and the ability to collaborate with team members in real time. Okay, let's get started and create our first Cloud9 environment. Log in to the AWS Management Console. In the service search bar, type Cloud9 and select Cloud9. On the AWS Cloud9 console, click the Create Environment button to begin the setup process. On the Create Environment page, give a name to your new environment and provide a brief description. In this demo, we will name the environment Demo Environment. For the environment type, we're going to select new EC2 instance. This will provision a new Amazon EC2 instance to host our Cloud9 IDE. On the new EC2 instance panel, you can choose from a variety of instance types depending on the resources your development work requires. For this demo, let's go with the T2 micro instance, which should be suitable for lighter workloads. For platform, choose the type of Amazon EC2 instance that you want. In this demo, I will use Amazon Linux 2023. The timeout option determines how long AWS Cloud9 is inactive before auto-hibernating. I will keep the default value of 30 minutes. On the Network Settings panel, choose how your environment is accessed from the two options. AWS Systems Manager. This method accesses the environment using AWS Systems Manager without opening inbound ports. Secure Shell SSH. This method accesses the environment using SSH and requires open inbound ports. In this demo, we will choose AWS Systems Manager option without the need to open inbound ports. For VPC settings, you can leave these as is unless you have specific requirements. Once you've reviewed all the details, go ahead and click the Create button. AWS will now provision the new EC2 instance and set up the Cloud9 IDE. This process should only take a minute or two. Great, now that our environment is ready, you can select the new environment and choose Open in Cloud9 to launch the IDE. The first thing you'll notice in the IDE environment is the code editing pane in the center of the screen. This is where you'll be able to create edit, and manage of your files. Along the left-hand side, you'll see the Project Explorer. This provides a file tree view of your current workspace, making it easy to navigate between different folders and files. You can use this to create new files, open existing ones, and organize your project structure. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find the integrated terminal window. This gives you full command line access to the underlying EC2 instance, so you can run any necessary build scripts, deploy commands, or conduct system administration tasks right from within the IDE. And Cloud9 IDE comes prepackaged with over 40 programming languages and tooling, including Python, Node.js, JavaScript, Git, Docker, and AWS CLI. This enables you to start writing code for popular application stacks within minutes by eliminating the need to install or configure files, SDKs, and plugins for your development machine. Now, let's go ahead and create a new file to get a feel for the coding experience in Cloud9. Simply click the File menu and select New File. This will open a new tab in the code editor where you can start writing your code. Cloud9 provides syntax highlighting, code completion, and other intelligent coding features to streamline your workflow. For this demo, I will create a simple Hello Cloud9 Python code. When you're done with editing, you can choose File, Save, and then save your new file.
now you can run your code in the terminal. The Python programming language and many common Python packages are pre-installed in the IDE. In this video, we've covered the process of creating a new AWS Cloud9 development environment and explored some of the key features of the IDE. Cloud9 provides a powerful, cloud-based coding experience that integrates seamlessly with the broader AWS ecosystem. Whether you're building applications on EC2, developing serverless functions with Lambda, or simply need a convenient place to write and test your code, Cloud9 is a great tool to have in your arsenal. I encourage you to start experimenting with Cloud9 for your own projects and explore the many ways it can streamline your development workflow. For those who want to dive deeper, I've included a link in the video description to the official AWS user guide on creating an AWS Cloud9 IDE environment. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments below what other AWS services you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for watching.